In this video, I'm going to share with you a self publisher who is making over $8,000 per month selling word search puzzle books on Amazon KDP, how they did it and how you can do it too. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And if learning more about how to make money online with things like self-publishing is something that interests you, then please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already. I release new videos every single week, just like this one, so you don't wanna miss out. So how would you like to make a full-time income? Or that amount is even more than a full-time income for some people from publishing puzzle books. That might be a silly question. Well, it can definitely be done. And I love looking at other publishers to see what they're doing, how they are marketing their books, what they are doing to make these really substantial sales and build up a really profitable publishing business. What are they doing that everyone else is not doing? Because as we all know, there are millions of books for sale on Amazon KDP. Some sell thousands a month and some sell nothing every single month. And I like to try and figure out why. I do this regularly to see what kind of tips that I can take from other people to see if those things would work within my own publishing business if they're things that I haven't tried already. And it just makes sense to learn from other people who are already doing well, right? Personally, I love puzzle books. I love them for my own personal enjoyment. But in terms of selling puzzle books, they are the kind of books that people like to buy multiples of. Usually if somebody loves puzzles, they don't just buy one. Or when they do finish one puzzle book, they'll usually go off and buy more. So these kind of books have really great potential to be able to make more than one sale from. And I came across a self-publisher that has built up a really nice little publishing business. I say little, it's not little. It's very, very successful publishing puzzle books, specifically word search puzzle books. Let's take a look at this brand, what they are doing, what kind of books they've published, how they did it, and see what you would need to do if you wanted to create this kind of income from puzzle books too. Now, this is the publisher here. The publisher is called Word Adventure Books. I came across this brand just doing a general search in Amazon. I like to spend a lot of time in the Amazon store just browsing, looking for books, looking for new books or established books or books that are kind of climbing up in the sales ranks to see who's popular, what's trending, what kind of books are selling at the moment. And I came across this particular brand. So when I clicked on this publisher's name, it didn't actually go to any kind of author central page or an author bio page as sometimes happens when you click on a publisher name. But we've come to these search results and we can see there are six results for this publisher. So they have four word search books that are paperback books and two really old leather bound books, which I'm not sure what they are or where they get them printed, but I haven't even looked at those. My main focus is going to be on these four books. So we can see that they have word searches for kids and they've stuck to that niche, word searches and word searches for kids. Now, if I hover my cursor over the cover of the book, this little pop-up pops up and this just gives us more information about the book without needing to actually click into the book. This is just a free Chrome extension that you can install into your browser if you use Chrome. Just having a quick look at how long these books have been published for, so this first one here was published in September 2020. The next one in November 2022. So that's probably their most recent one. This one in April 2021 and this one in August 2022. So they've released these quite slowly, I guess, over the last couple of years. They probably released this one first and after seeing success with this one, decided to sort of keep going and expand and create a series all around word searches for kids. So let's have a look at the actual books. Now, this one here is the most popular, Word Search for Kids Aged 6 to eight 100 word search puzzles. We take a look inside, we just get an idea of how good a quality this is, what kind of features the book has, what the word searches look like, the difficulty of them and things like that. There's a little page of instructions here, which is good. And then we go into the word searches. So they're big, the letters are big, because obviously these are young kids who are only in the early stages of learning how to write words, how to find and recognize words. So if you are going to target any book towards kids, you have to be very aware of the ages and there is a massive difference between a child who's maybe four, five or six and a child who's seven, eight or nine. The difficulty level of puzzles or activities that you're going to have between those two groups of children are going to be very different. So you have to be very mindful of you can't just create a book for kids. It's going to have to be specific to a age or, or an age range. So within a couple of years. So we just have word searches with words related to different topics. For some reason, my look inside feature is not working on that one. Now, now with the other books, they target different age ranges. So you're probably going to see the other books would have, if the child is 
older, they're going to have bigger word searches, more letters within the, the puzzle, and the words are probably going to be a bit more longer, maybe a bit more complicated advanced words than what you would see in this word search book for ages six to eight, or even the word search book for four to six. The one for kids aged four to six are going to be very simple, very big. The words are going to be small, and there's not going to be a lot of letters within the actual puzzle. So after looking through their books, I decided to do some calculations to try and figure out how much they could be potentially making from these books. Now, like I say in all my videos, when I do a deep dive like this into other publishers, only that publisher really knows exactly how much they are making. But I use some tools to help make an educated guess as to how many books they might be selling, which then helps me work out how much money they could be making. So the first tool that I use is the TCK Publishing Amazon Book Sales Calculator. This is not the only tool like this out there. Just Google Amazon Book Sales Calculator and you'll find plenty of them. I just prefer to use this one. It's free to use. What this particular tool does is it takes the BSR of a book and estimates how much it could be selling. Just going back to the book where you would find the BSR is down here in the product details. So we can see down here a BSR for anyone who is unfamiliar with this term. A BSR is a bestseller rank. A bestseller rank determines a book's popularity within the Amazon marketplace. So the lower this number, the better. The lower that number, the more books that you are selling. And we can use this number to help determine which books are popular, which books are selling, and how much they could possibly be selling. So as we can see here, the most popular book for this brand or this publisher has, at the time of this video, a bestseller rank of 2,905. So that's a very, very good bestseller rank. This book is currently ranking less than 3,000 from all the millions of books within the Amazon book marketplace. So what we do is we take that bestseller rank and we pop it into this calculator and it estimates that this book could be selling around 1,003 copies every single month. We then go to the next book, we scroll down, we look for the bestseller rank. So this one's 5,542. We do the same thing and this one estimates that that book could be selling 606 copies per month. And I do that for all the books so that I can get a total figure of how many books this publisher overall could be selling from all their books combined. So once I had gone through all the books and used the TCK calculator, I estimated that this publisher is selling over 4,300 books overall per month. So then we need to work out how this equates to money, to income coming in. And this is easy enough to do. We just use Amazon KDP's Royalty Calculator, which is a free calculator to use on their KDP support website. And all we need to do is enter the details of the book and it will tell us how much royalty each book is making. Because when we sell a book, we don't get $7.99 if that's what you've priced your book at or $8.99, whatever amount you've priced your book at, that is not the amount that you get. So out of the total sales price that you sell a book for, the printing costs get taken out of that first and then whatever is left gets divided between you, the publisher, and Amazon. So you get a percentage of the profit that's left after printing. And when I entered in all the information for this particular publisher's books, all their books have an estimated royalty of $2.04. Every time a book is sold, that's how much this publisher will get. So that means if they are selling over 4,300 books per month, 4,364 to be exact at the time of making this video, with each having a $2.04 royalty, that is over $8,900 per month. It is just incredible what you can do with some quite simple to make books selling them on Amazon KDP. So now we've looked at these books, the potential income, how did they make them? Because although they are easy to make, they don't look very easy to make, right? Now these word search puzzles can be made with some software that is very easy to use and very easy to get your hands on if you want it. My preferred software is Instant Puzzles Generator software. This software was created specifically for KDP publishers to make and sell puzzle books on Amazon, as well as other places, or even to make things like printables or digital downloads if you wanted to do that. There are other softwares out there and if you Google a free word search software, be very careful using it because I don't think I have come across a free puzzle software that is allowed to be used for commercial use. So make sure that you are using a software that you are allowed to use it for making books to sell on Amazon with. This particular software is my favorite, my preferred software to use and you can use it to create a whole book of word searches as well as format the page 
pages and the book. I will pop a link down in the description box below if you are interested in getting some more information about that particular software. So now we've looked at the books, we've talked about how much they've made, how they make them. And now we want to know how did they market these books? How did they make all those sales? Now, first of all, they really niched down. So not just selling puzzle books, but just word search puzzle books. So they didn't include any other types of puzzles whatsoever in the books, or they haven't created any other types of puzzle books under this pen name anyway. They may have other pen names where they're making other puzzle books, but under this particular brand that they've created, they are focusing only on word search puzzles. And not just that, not just word search puzzles, they have targeted children. So kids word search puzzles only. So they've gone within this very targeted niche and drilled down as far as they possibly could. And then within that very targeted niche, they went as wide as they could. And that means they then targeted all the different ages of children that they could within that very small sub niche. They also created this as a series that makes it very easy for customers to find more of this particular publisher's books. And the great thing when you are here on the sales page right at the top, you can see that when you have created a series, you get a link here. So then a customer can see there is more puzzle books from this brand and if they really like these particular books clicking on this and they're going to find more books within the series and I guess just the idea of this is that if you can make it easier for customers to make multiple sales or multiple purchases from you then you should really make it as easy as possible for them to do that. This publisher has also created a brand which is consistent across all their books. They all have the same kind of cover design and speaking of covers, they've created really eye-catching, high-quality covers, which will appeal to children because children love bright colors. And having a really high-quality cover is just so important because essentially it is what really sells the book, or at least is what gets customers to click on that little thumbnail of the cover instead of all the other books around them in the search results and go to that particular book's listing for more information. Now, the next thing we want to know is what kind of marketing has this brand done? Because I think we all want to know how they've made these kind of sales and what can we do to replicate that kind of success with our own books. This is where it gets really interesting and is why I sort of really wanted to actually share this particular publisher because I know when I've made these kinds of videos in the past where we really look deep into a brand or a publisher to see what kind of tactics they're using to make sales. In the past, we see a lot of publishers doing all the things and these are all things that I recommend doing too. You've probably heard me talk about them a hundred times before if you've seen any of my other videos. Building an email list, building a social media following, building a brand, having a website, being active on social media, all that stuff. But I also know that this can seem very overwhelming, especially if you're new to KDP or if you're just publishing your first book and you sort of think, oh, I've just taken all this time to make that book. I just want to make more. But now I have to do all this other stuff like building email lists, sending newsletters, building up social media accounts. And it takes a lot of time and hard work. So let's look at this publisher. I looked through the front of their book with the look inside feature for any kind of information about a website, about an email sign up, about a freebie they might be giving away or something because a lot of people put information about their email list at the front of their books, but there is nothing in these books. So then I headed to their author bio because this is also another place where people will link to their website or their social media, but there isn't anything here either. So then I headed over to Google because I was determined to find this publisher, but there is nothing coming up from a Google search. I even headed over to Facebook and searched through Facebook to see if they had a Facebook page or something, but no, nothing. Isn't that interesting? I did go back to Amazon and I did a more narrow search for these books. So I searched for word search for kids and I can see the first row of listings here are for these books books and they are sponsored ads. So this publisher is running Amazon ads for their books and it seems like that is all they are doing and it's working for them. So I wanted to show you this because I wanted to show you that there is more than one way to do this. There is no right or wrong way. There is no if you don't do social media or email list, you're not going to make a sale or anything like that. You might find that you might prefer to invest some money into advertising rather than taking 
the amount of time that it takes to build up an email list, build up social media, and really learn how to make the advertising work for you instead of doing all those other things. Not right away anyway. I do think those other marketing methods like email lists and social media are super, super important and definitely worth doing. I think it can just really add more to what success you would maybe already be having. But if you'd rather just focus on running Amazon ads, then that's a great pathway to take as well. And also you don't have to start off spending a lot of money. And I probably even wouldn't recommend starting off spending a lot of money until you have figured out how Amazon ads works. I would suggest keeping the amount of money that you spend on ads quite low, whatever you can afford until you figure out how to get the ads working for you. And then once you do have them ticking along nicely, you can increase your spend from there. I hope you enjoyed this video looking deep into a successful puzzle book publisher on Amazon KDP. If you do like these types of videos, make sure to check out my video on a self-publisher who makes $7,000 per month publishing children's picture books. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.